Indeed. Go ahead, Scott. Uh, I'm going to ask Wisconsin to take a chance with new companies. Credits that are limited to a taxpayer's taxable income or tax liability. Why do you do that? You get a company that comes into Wisconsin, they bring in jobs, they make investments, and you offer them some credit that's limited to either their income or their tax liability. Now, in la now there's probably budgetary things here that are just way beyond my pay grade, but that company's coming to Wisconsin, they are hiring people, which is increasing the tax base, they're making investments, which is increasing the tax base via sales tax and maybe personal property tax, and then you tell them, you didn't make any money, you can't claim any credit that year. That's the, I understand you're probably going to say the, the credit carries forward. It's not good enough. That company needs that credit that year. And this is going to require Wisconsin to take a chance on the people that they're asking to come into the state. No question. Indeed. Indeed. Um, you all probably uh, read the headlines about the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation and assuring accountability there. And one of the things that our administration feels very passionately about is assuring that taxpayers um, have the type of accountability they expect out of government entities. And so I misspoke a little bit. When I said take a chance on taxpayer, I mean, I understand that Wisconsin and said can't give away credits without some payback. That company that loses money, there is the chance, this is where you got to take a gamble, that they may never make money and may never generate an income tax. But they also might, you get them through the hard times by giving them a refundable credit, maybe that company turns around and turns into an ABC supply and you get hundreds of millions of dollars. Thanks, Scott. Just, just